Well, good evening, repair fans. And yes, I say good evening because it is just about 9 p.m. on a Friday, and we are going to have a party here at Dunstar Electronics tonight because we've got an iPad Pro, uh, I believe it's a Pro, yeah, model A1673. You can look that up. And this iPad does not turn on, there's no power, it doesn't charge. You see me here, down here, look, I've got this little box here plugged in with some power. You see there's five volts out the ready cable. And if we plug this in here, hmm, hear that? Click that in. Watch here, nothing happens. Click that in. Ooh, no power. We can hold these buttons to try and reset it. But there is zero joy, nothing, nothing is happening on this iPad. Uh, obviously I figured out that the iPad doesn't turn on. So yeah, that's, that's gonna be our party evening. We're gonna get into this iPad, we're gonna see if we can find out why it doesn't work, and even more importantly, we're gonna see if we can make it work. So, right, so the painful bit is I've actually got to get inside the iPad and um, not break the screen, hopefully. So it's all sour beans, really, isn't it? Oh, we're having a party. It's nine o'clock on Friday. We're having a party. Ah. This is just living on the edge. Living on the edge, this is. It really is, actually, opening these things. You have to excuse my um, severe injury here. This was caused by a rather savage iPad screen earlier on. Not this iPad screen. And it was my own fault. I can't even try and sue Apple for having a screen which can possibly cut you when it's broken. Can I do that? Now I've changed a few screens on these in my time, but I don't think I've ever had to venture in and do anything with the motherboard. So I'm gonna have a quick look online to see if there's any information, as in schematics or some sort of motherboard viewing software which will show me how all these dots are supposed to connect. Pro 4, 4G, 9.7 inch. Is that the one we want? I mean, it's not the 4G version, but that has to be has to be close enough. We'll try that. Well, that looks similar, I suppose. Mm, no, this looks... different. These bits are similar, I suppose. What's that? We don't know. What's that? We don't know. There's no information on here, and it's not even the right board. So there is apparently nothing to go on. Right. I think it's time that we took this to the microscope. So we're over the microscope now, and I'm just going to be looking through here, seeing if I can recognize anything from previous circuits on these things um, just to see if I can get an idea of what might be going wrong and looking for any obvious signs of damage or burnt out components or anything like that. So here we are then looking through these are the display connectors they all look good I'm not sure what the other bits uh, so far, this bit, this capacitor, I'm not sure what that is, but we could come back to that, that might be a factor. Got some chips here, BCM Broadcom chips, now these are likely to do with the, um, the touch controllers. believe uh, what's this one here this one's interesting this this one is a little friend 
that we know as TriStar. And that is in a really easy position. And there is no underfill. So that's interesting because TriStar is always um, quite heavily involved in charging or not charging. Very easily damaged and that looks like an easy swap out job in all fairness. This is the Wi-Fi chip here. In this area we look like well, I would say that's the main power chip so I mean if TriStar isn't involved you're probably looking at this main power chip uh, and at that point I would say not today not for me because look at all that look at all these things around it you know it's just that's a nightmare to get into but you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna swap this little TriStar just as the first troubleshooting point because it looks easier to just swap that than to carry on poking around doing anything else. I have to be careful of these though, because these look underfilled. Look at all this gunk under here. So I don't want to get too much heat and disturb these. Or the battery. So we're going to have to be careful. Got new Tri-Stars. Now I don't normally like to use heat sinks. But on this occasion, I just feel it's going to add that little bit of extra safety. So stick a 2P there. And that's just to protect those two chips from any excess heat. Take a bit of flux. Yes, we've blanked off the battery. The battery is no longer connected. Dab a bit of that down there. Touch up this connection now with a bit of leaded solder. We can clean this area up with some alcohol. Get rid of any hairs. Whose hairs are they? They're not mine. Yeah, that looks good now. You can see that, and uh, we'll just put another dollop of flux back on there. Just a little bit, none of that, none of that Lewis Rossman buckets of this stuff. But uh, you know, I'm not selling flux. No disrespect to Lewis. Lewis is a Lewis is a king, King Louis. Who remembers which way round this was? I think it was... I think it was not that way, if I can get my hands to work. I think it was this way. Better go left-handed, prod this thing over now. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. Oh, oh. Down a bit. That's kind of good. We'll heat it up from there. And that should settle itself into place. Put this coin back, even though I, I don't know whether that's helping me or hurting me really, but I just feel a little bit safer with it. Yeah, I think that's gone down. Uh, it might, might not even be the problem. But, you know, it's about the age where these, these kind of things will start to become a problem. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's on us now to figure out what does go wrong and 
if we can fix them. Right, so what I'll do now is get this. See here, look, I've got this plastic card shoved into the battery terminal, which just disconnects the battery, so it's safe to work on. So I'm just going to reconnect the battery now, put the screen back on, and uh, and see whether that actually makes a difference. So let's go back over there. Right, guys. So what is going to happen here? We do not know. Uh, I've got the the bits back over. Screen is ready. A. We don't know if the screen is going to work. B. We don't know if the iPad is going to work. I've not plugged this in without you guys. This will be the first time me doing it, so I don't know what's going to happen. And um, we'll just hope for the best, I guess. Right, so they're all plugged on. Um, and we're going to remove this card. Okay, now we'll bring our trusty little meter in here. It's got the five volts at the ready. We'll bring our connector in. And plug it in and uh, see what happens. <gasps> We've got movement. <gasps> we have a battery symbol now coming alive. And we have the charging current. This is the current going into the iPad. So 1.89 amps, um, which is good. It's about what I would expect to see for this iPad. So that's just then wait a little bit of time and see if it actually turns on um, so yeah I might just I'll just play with my little oh my gosh guys it is turning on I cannot believe it So we have a working iPad. Unbelievable, really. So stroke of luck, we we looked at the iPad, we tried to find some online information as to what might be wrong with it, uh, or at least find some schematics or a board view or something that tells us how the, the circuit board is working or operating inside here but uh, I can't find anything at the moment available for this four-year-old four-year-old piece of um, kit and there doesn't seem to be any schematics online which is disturbing really I don't like that but that's that's life that's how it is the customer's gonna be happy they're gonna get their iPad back that's saved one from the what do you call it the the landfill one from the landfill saved it from going in the landfill uh, we, you know, and that's that's the whole goal. What we do here, we try to save the planet one device at a time. So thank you very much for joining us, and uh, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, and uh, we hope to be putting out much more of this style of content for you in the coming days, weeks, months, and hopefully years to come. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next one.